guys, and I'm just going to do a quick short video here. Uh, I had a few people asking me how I put these Horrence Booth uh, sights on my gun. Now, let me just go here real quick. Uh, I'm going to try to do this uh, because I'm, I'm going to take them off the gun. So let's say, let me just show you the gun's empty. Okay, empty, no bullets in it, blah, 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 see? Okay, so the gun is empty. And um, let's go ahead and show you. I have this sight on here. Okay, see, this rear sight is actually on. Okay, um, it's pretty tight. This one's on here too. This or you just pound it off. Um, I, the old one, I just took a, a rubber mallet and a piece of like rubber and just pound it, knocked it off. The new one, put a little oil, drop of oil in there, line it up, just tap it in. You could line it right up. It's pretty strong, so it's not like the cheaper ones, it won't break. The back one, the same thing, you pound it out going this direction and you would just put a piece of real hard rubber or and you just pound the old one out. To put the new one in, I'm going to show you. This in here has, let me go down so you can see it. It has uh, holes. See the two holes there? And that is for Allen, an Allen, Allen nuts. Let me loosen them up here. Okay. This comes really off easy, but I gotta loosen it first because I I put these in there and I, I tightened them pretty good. And there's not much uh, force that you have to do on these to get them off, but they come off fairly easy. Okay, and as you loosen them up, they slide right off. And the secret's in it, it has uh, some Allen wrenches. See the little Allen nuts? And uh, all you do is you stick. And mine did not come with this. I actually had it. Got to get it in there the right way. You can see you can turn that. And that will turn. Okay, I got to get it in there. It's a pain to line it up. Okay, so you get it in there. You can see turn the little, see how that turns? Okay, so that's how that goes. But this is uh, the sight. And all you do, take your old one off, like I say, when it's on there, just you can put a drop of oil on each side and just tap it right off. To put it on, very easy. Just line this up, and this, well, that screws out, so. Bring that screw back in. Okay. And then just put it in like this. Okay. And bang, it's in. See how easy that goes in? That is sweet. And it's in now. And then you just take your Allen wrench. And make sure you find your holes. Tighten it. That out. And it's very um when you put it in there, it really bites into the metal good. So you are not going to have a problem with it um, coming at all because it bites right into that metal. And what you could do even uh, is you could put a little uh, little dimple in the um, frame on the slide so the little Allen uh, nuts kind of bite into there. But that's how you do it. Now I wanted to show you that. Um, I already have the front one on it. I just don't want to nail that, pound that off. But it's fairly easy to get it on. I actually have it a little crooked. Let me straighten it up here. And I really liked the way they got it set up because it does come up. It uh, is probably, I would have to say, one of the best uh, sites that I have run across. Uh, for adjustability. You don't really need a gunsmith to do this, which is nice. Get it in there. It's just a pain to get fine we're going in there. But once you get it on, you're good. That's it. Okay, and it's pretty tight now. And this is this is very tight. You can feel I'm moving the whole slide.
But that's how you put them on. I wanted to show you that. And that's installing the fiber optic sights. Uh, I'm not showing you how to take the old ones off, but the old ones are easy. You could just pound them off, put a little oil, you pound them in this direction. Okay, you're going uh, from left to right. Okay, putting them back on from right to left. But thanks a lot, guys.